They've been behaving themselves recently. Gosh, cat, stop it. No. Cat, get out. Please, leave me alone for one night. <laughs> Hello, I've got insane cats who are gonna constantly bother me this episode, and we've apparently got a lot to do in this episode, so let's go ahead and get started. We're in the elf village. No, she's here. That's enough. Listen to me. How dare you be so insulting? Listen. Listen, you say? I didn't know you humans could talk. What do you have to say? Have you thought of a good way to of exterminating us with your tiny mind? I kind of take offense to that. I don't. But, uh, my, my mind is, uh, like four and a half, which I heard, which I heard is average. That's right, Quanda is planning something truly frightening. Not only is he going to wipe you out, he's planning to burn down this entire forest. This forest that also happens to be my home. You humans are too stupid to realize such a task. Hey, lock this one up. Man, I just took my dogs out and I forgot to wash my hands. Now they feel weird. I don't like this. Kind of, uh, ugh. Uh, let's go ahead and... Do I need to? Yeah, I'll go ahead and stay here real quick. 200 bits a person. Good thing money's not really an issue. Is it? Nope. I got... I got, I got a good number. We're just gonna head north. We're just gonna talk to the guy. We'll do everything afterward. Kirkus, why did you leave me alone? I was lonely. I mean, that's what alone means. I didn't mean to leave you alone. How terrible. Oh, going off alone. You should have taken me with you. Was it fun outside? No, I mean, I didn't go out to play, you know. I didn't, I didn't take you because I didn't want you in danger. Of course. Kirkus, why did you leave without my permission? What did you do out there? There are humans who are fighting the Empire too. I left to get help from the Liberation Army, as they call themselves, to protect the village of the elves. Protect the village? What are you talking about? We don't need human help to protect ourselves. It's, the... it's true that at one point, Quanda's men had the upper hand, but they're human after all. They've been behaving themselves recently. Gosh, cat, stop it. No, cat, get out. Please, leave me alone for one night. <laughs> but, shut up, Kirkus. Uh, shut up, Kirkus. You left the village without permission and dared return with filthy humans. Lock them all up. No, don't you dare jump up here again. I don't want that. Yes, sir. What? Why? Why, Grandpa? Why are you arresting Kirkus? I gotta find a better way to say his name. Oh my gosh, cat! You're gonna make me go insane. No, I'm not throwing her. I'm just dropping her. Gently. Who the hell are you, Liberation Army? Come to help the elves? I guess we're all fools here. That's an Imperial uniform. Yep, I was a fool too. I risked my life to betray the Empire. And look at me now. How stubborn these elves are. No! 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 Don't dig your claws in me. They refuse to believe what I know. So what is it you know? Oh, that. The man in charge of this region is the great General Kwanda Rosman. He has commissioned a horrible weapon to exterminate the rebellious elves. Horrible weapon? What is it? I'm not sure, but it's called the Burning Mirror. They say it can burn down an entire forest in an instant. Give me one second. Alright. Doors closed. Cats are gone. Hopefully. Probably not for long. They know how to open that door. It's crazy. Not only the elves, but the village where I was born. That's why I came. I wanted to warn the elves of this danger so they could prevent the Burning Mirror's completion. 
And before you knew it, you were in this prison. You. What? Well, if it isn't chicken a chicken-hearted Kirkus, who turned and ran when he found out the Imperial Army was attacking. Hey, don't you remember me? Stallion, the fastest pair of feet in the village, didn't you know? You should have seen how fast I ran when Quanda attacked. Ha ha ha! Does that mean you're chicken too? Uh... Damn it, we don't have time to waste around here. Shouldn't have trusted those elves. And he says the same thing. Freak. Who is it? Sylvina. Grandpa said I shouldn't have, I shouldn't come here, but I have to ask. Ask what? Tell me, Kirkus. Kirkus. Kirk, Kirk Cobain. Why are you so hung up on humans? Humans act big, yet they're dead after only 50 years or so. Why bother with such lowly creatures? Dead after only 50 years or so? What an awful thing to say! Listen to me, Sylvina. It's true that humans dislike elves and dwarves. We look down on humans. The dwarves detest us. Isn't that sad? After all, what's the difference between us? We're tall and they're tiny. Why can't we get along? I just don't understand it. It's very sad. Kirkus. I'm sorry, Kirkus. I don't understand what you're saying. I just can't. I just can't trust humans and dwarves scare me. But... But I'll believe you. I'll believe whatever you believe. I'll do my best to believe. Sylvina. Here's the key to this cell. Do you think I'll end up in here for doing this? Ha! I, Stallion, shall show you the, how fast I can run. In incredible. Kirkus, you run too. You can't run that fast, of course. No, I can't run away. I have to do something about the burning mirror that Valeria was talking about. What can you do? I have an idea. Master Nico, northeast of this village is the village of the dwarves. They must know something. Let's get their help. I agree. Me too. If we don't hurry, there will be a disaster. We must prevent the burning mirror from being complete. Kirkus, are you going to dwarf country? They say dwarves eat elves. That's just a nasty rumor. We we should get rid of prejudices like that. Let's go, Master Nico. Ah, I'm watching a show that, uh... Oh boy. Elf racism, or... Elves are super racist in the show. Especially against humans. Uh, armor. What you got? A magic robe. Ah, uh, uh, that's super expensive. Do a feather for Cleo, maybe. Ah, wait. Uh. Wait, does Yamku not have anything? Oh my gosh. I could have sworn I equipped him with something. Wow, so anything would be good for him. Let's give him a fracking feather. Uh, let's go ahead and just give him a magic robe. Or just because we have the money. Or had the money. And uh, let's give him a pointed hat. Hell yeah, now he's super defensive. And also, between when I paused and when I came back, I now have a big fluffy cat in my lap. Don't ask me how, it just happened. Alright, let's go. Hey, 
Take me with you, Commander Nico. I want to help protect this forest. Okay. Oh, man. Did I just... Oh, man. That's so silly. I can't believe I just did that. I can't believe I just done this. You know what? He'll be defensive. Or whatever. Whatever. I, I mean, I guess. I guess it is. I guess it's fine. It, it, I only. I only spent almost 20,000 on him, but it. I don't know. It's fine. It's fine. Mercus. Do you want to come along, Silva Sylvina? This time. This time you're welcome to join us. Guts. I'll stay. I'll wait for you to come back, so promise me you'll return. Promise? I promise I'll be back. I'll never make you feel sad again. Oh no, my cat's opening up the door! Ugh. Oh, okay, I'm back. I don't know how much time I just wasted, but I'll figure it out later. It's a promise. Smooch. Uh, was this north? I was supposed to head east. East is where I was supposed to go. Did I pay attention? I hoped to. Oh! A strong arm. Ooh. Oh. Let's do Falcon and all that. Oh, wow. I am so sorry about that. I probably got the audio there. Okay, I thought one damage was a little too low for this this stage of the game. Uh, let's go ahead and just attack the strong arm here. I really wish I prepared for this more, but you know, it's it's whatever. Oh, okay. Cool. I really need to fix my audio. Some of my words are actually getting cut out, and it bothers me. But I also don't want to like make it to where it picks up a little too much background noise, which is kind of awful. Oh. What? Wow, that's a that's that's an eagle man. That's an eagle man. That was, that was really bad. I am. I apologize. Um, right after I record this, I'll see myself out. Thank you very much for having me. And uh, hopefully, you'll never see this face again. Not that you have, but I mean. In case you have before, uh, hopefully you won't have to face me like the degenerate I am. I don't even have my controller hooked up, so I could have some issues. Let me fix that real quick. Okay, that should be fine. How do you get over there? Is it... what? Dwarves? Let's just free will it, bro. I should have probably bought some medicine, actually. Remembering the edit of the last video. Or one of the last couple videos. I was running low on medicine. Ah. Nope. Well, I guess I'm not running super low. Now, uh, people have 
a pretty good number of them. I probably just need to spread them out a bit more. I also need to figure out what to do with the ornaments. Oh, what? The door's open again. Son of a bitch. <laughs> oh no, the cat's coming. He's staring me in the eye. Oh god. There's three of them. They're surrounding me. So, how... I mean, I guess I'll just come back for that. Later. God, I really need to fix this. Okay, hopefully that helps. I don't... I don't know. I don't know, man. Well, I got a karate uniform. Oh, and she's got a fire crystal. Huh. Okay, cool. Let's go. Oh, a chest. Sacrificial Buddha. Sacrifice. Oh, I think it's like the sacrificial Jizo. But if I can figure out how to get those chests, I'll come back and get them. Oh, some boars. Death boars. Ugh. That doesn't look fun. Show them this fire store. Wow! Okay. I, I see you, Cleo. Hey, I got one of the hidden chests. Killer crystal. I remember a killer rune. I don't remember what they do. Oh, I should probably heal up, actually. Wait, if he's got the sacrificial Buddha... Then why the hell did he go down? No, he didn't go down. I'm silly. Pardon me. Okay, let's go. Uh... Oh, man. I'll come back for that. Maybe. I might forget. Don't judge me. Medicine? Ooh. Good thing I need that, maybe. A fortune rune, okay. Ooh. Oh, oh, is this guy? Dwarf stingy keeps sickness cure secret, but Kuro Mimi never give up. That kobold. You, I don't forgive, Ger, but Kuro Mimi busy now. Later, Kuro Mimi. Oh man, I think I need that. Oh, I accidentally let, uh, Valeria die. Total accident. Not at all on purpose. Those dwarves hurt a little bit. Best to save before anything goes bad. Oh!
Is that you? Dwarf? Village? Village of the Dwarves? Ooh. Do you have it in I can, uh, yeah you do. Alright, first things first, let's go to the smithy. You're not the smithy. You're the smithy. If I can get in there. Liberation army? What the hell is that now? Or wait, what what the hell is that? I'm busy right now, learning new techniques. I don't have time for the liberation army, or whatever. That is, of course, unless some other blacksmith has joined you. Um, something tells me I missed someone? Yeah, I think I missed someone. Anyways, let's go ahead and uh, sharpen some stuff up. Look at that. Uh, hers is level 7. Oh wait, what? Oh no, I messed up! Ah, oh, son of a bitch. That's fine. A little quick water rune to give it to Kirkus. Fuck it. I hope they stay with us. I didn't even check. Are you one of those cold called humans? <laughs> Fucking piece of shit. Yep. Mega medicine. Nice. Nice. Yep, you're right. I would be sorry if I hadn't sharpened my weapons. Are you the chief? What's up, chief? Well, what unusual visitors, humans and elf, hand in hand, what brings you to the dwarf mines? Chief of the dwarves, we come to ask a fav for a favor. A proud elf asking a lowly dwarf for a favor. Chief, have you heard of the burning mirror? Of course I have. It's one of our treasures. Wanda Rosman has gotten hold of the blueprint and is, in, and is planning to burn down the forest. Oh ho, that's very funny. I hope all the elves are killed. Oh ho. What a thing to say. Yeah, that is a thing to say. Besides, do you expect me to believe that one of you sluggish humans really succeeded in stealing a blueprint from us? It's true. A fellow called Kage stole the blueprint. Oh ho, you'll have to prove such human competence. You're saying a human can break into our vault? Try it then. Let's give it a try. Oh ho, what fun. Let's try and steal the... Then try to steal the running water route from our vault. If you can do that, I'll believe your story. Our vault is due north of this village. It's way too big to big here. Ho ho. Ho ho ho. To the funny farm. Ooh. Let's go. Uh, real quick though, I think I'm gonna make a quick trip back. Ah, I, um. I'll see you eventually! Okay, uh, real quick, I feel really silly for not being able to get to these chests. Uh, it's actually really simple. I just have to pay attention to where the path comes from. Anyways, I'll see you back places. Alright, so that village at the very beginning of the forest, uh, before we got to the Cobalt village, uh, if you go to the smithy, apparently you can talk to this guy. Are you a member of the Liberation Army? Our boss mace used to say, A sound body is the same as a sound mind. When the world is twisted, so are people's minds. Please, let me join the Liberation Army, so I can help straighten out people's minds. Recruit. Thank you very much. Let's be on our way to Lothra Castle. Now we have a blacksmith. And apparently there's one more person we can recruit here.
What? I'm Sansuke, an expert on baths. Join you? Sure, I'll come along. Alright, um, now I'm going to make the long trek all the way back to the Dwarf Kingdom. Alright, and after recruiting the blacksmith in the other village, we should be able to get this guy. Hmm, Mas, hey? If Mas thinks you guys are okay, then you're okay. I'll help you out. Put me in charge of your weapons. Alright, I'll do the... or I'll go tell the chief of the dwarves that I'll be gone for a while. After that, we'll go to Lothar Castle. Cool. Cool. Alright, time to head north. To the Dwarven Vault. And if you're, in case you're curious, uh, I did not really battle all that much. Hence the poor amount of extra money. I did collect the rest of the chests. Um, it wasn't anything too special. It was that robe. But I think this karate uniform... Definitely beats that out. Oh. Alright. The chief has filled us in. The vault can't be opened by a stupid elf. We'll be the judge of that. I feel like there's gonna be a boss fight, which is also one of the reasons. Oh. A death machine. Uh, that's also one of the reasons why I hadn't really fought too much on the way away and to, or away and back for the recruiting. Because I don't want to be over leveled, but uh, honestly, I probably should have fought everything I could. Considering how bad that dragon really fucked us up. Oh, levers. Um. Maybe. What is that? Do? Oh. Uh... Okay. What? Okay. Uh... Maybe they had to be in an order? Okay. Okay, there was only so many ways you could do that. Oh, Crimson Dwarves! Crimson Dwarves! Torbjorn! Ready to work! Or party. I don't know, I heard both. Ready for Hardy. I could have equipped the, f uh, the other fire rune to someone. Or fire crystal. But I did it. I don't know why. Extra fire power would have been nice. Wow, they're all pretty okay against the fire rune. Fire crystal. I'm just gonna call it a rune. Because the other games, I, I think from the second game onward, they're all runes. We'll figure it out, because I think we're close to the end of this one. I say close, uh, I think we're about halfway through the game. Give or take a couple hours. Uh, 
Labyrinth? Chest. Blue ribbon. What does that mean? It's defense. Oh, he has a feather too. Uh, or she does. Oh, I, there we are. Now she's got defense. I don't want to miss that chest. And I don't know if we're going to walk all, all the way back through here. If that sounds weird. Maybe it does. I don't know how I'm editing this. I may have cut something out. I may have kept it in. I don't know. Depends on how close attention I paid. Medicine. Yeah boy, Nico almost one shot a Crimson Dwarf. With a... I really need to stop talking whenever I get into battles. Uh, but he hit a dwarf with around a 248 crit. It was pretty nice. Don't know how much health they have. The magic robe. I don't know if... Alright, so right now I'm at 51... 52 minutes of recording. I don't know how much I'm going to cut out, so this episode may be a little bit on the longer side. I'm not sure, but I guess we'll use it. But we could say it was, it's uh, to compensate for the much shorter episode we had last time. At 17 minutes. It's kind of crazy. I didn't think I had that much of uh, wandering around. I need to heal. Man, I'm gonna have a nightmare one day and it, this music's gonna be playing in it. Whoa. Where do you go? Nope, not where I thought. Uh. Hey. And then help you go way back here. Maybe. Something tells me this uh, vault could easily be broken into if it's just simple puzzles like this and simple battles like this, especially with a high ranking imperial officer. Yeah, something tells me that a high ranking imperial officer, uh, since I'm able to just free will the fights at around level 24, 25. I uh, was starting to at around 23. Something tells me, something just tells me that uh, Quanda Rosman didn't have too hard of a time getting through here. If he is the one who personally did go through here. Diddle dee diddle dee piddle dee doo. Uh... Uh... Is it like a combination? Okay. Left. Right. Right. Left. Uh... Left. Uh... Left? Right. Oh my god. Uh. Alright, we got left, right, left. Left. Wait. No, no, no. It was like a left, right. Right? 
left, left, and then we, we did the third left, went right, right. Oh my god, I'm a genius. I think when we get back to town, I can uh, upgrade the other uh, weapons. Yeah, something just tells me. Something that starts with a 25. Hmm. Always the time. I guess good. No, no, don't, don't give me multiple pathways. I don't know when the battle cut me off. There's a chest in this one. Awesome, cool, awesome. Yeah, hmm, yeah, awesome. Let's see this one first. So far, the most threatening creature in this fortress that I can tell is a uh, boar. Uh, specifically the pack of three boars. Like, you can get three death machines and three crimson... Cr you can get attacked by a squad of three death machines and three crimson dwarves. Uh, but they s What the fuck? Isn't this thing in that one Yu-Gi-Oh episode where they're fighting the Japanese twins? I didn't even heal up. But it's like Yugi and Joey fighting these two Asian... I want to say monks? I don't remember. But they had three cards. Three guardian cards apparently that formed into one. All they're, all this one's missing is like a giant ball in between them. Gigantus. Gigantes. Gigantes. Heal yourself up. Dancing flames. You heal Nico. And you heal Valeria. You heal Valero. That's a pretty neat oh. What? Wait, 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 what just happened? Was that? I think that was just his attack. I don't think that was... Okay, since he only hit once. Um, for some reason, that made me think that he, like, because we used a rune on him, he countered it? And it spooked me for a second. But apparently, it's nothing to worry about, maybe? I could probably use another medicine on Nico, but I guess- I think he could take a hit. If it- if it's, uh, maybe a direct hit. I don't think they're gonna do 200 damage in one hit. I hope he doesn't. I mean, if- if he does any single target hit. Uh, I feel like this could get dangerous because he's doing about equal damage and if they all get really low I'd have to use them all to heal which I guess isn't that bad considering it takes two of his hits to drop me uh, more than what a medicine would heal so I guess we should be fine Hopefully. Uh, 
Okay, I have an idea on his attack. Uh, I'll just go full physical and see how that and that does things. And uh, there's a chance that I should. I'll just heal with everyone, I guess. Uh huh. Uh, but if it's what I think it is. Yeah, okay. It doesn't 100% confirm, but I've, it, it appears that if you don't use a rune, he won't attack you with magic. So, well, I mean, I can't 100% confirm it, uh, but from my experience, that's that's the thing. If you don't want your whole party to get hit, don't use magic. Physical runes seem to be fine, like Falcon, uh, which means the boar rune should be fine if you use Pawn, but uh, Pawn will be disoriented after using a boar rune. Uh, running water root. That's all we needed. And if All right, it appears we stole it, so let's go ahead and use an escape talisman. Hey dwarf, good luck, you'll need it. Nah, we got it. Da -da 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 -da. I'm gonna go ahead and heal up and save. And since I have an hour and ten, uh, an hour and ten minutes worth of footage, I'll go ahead and stay too. Uh, yeah, and not like I need to watch the bits. Anyways, um, I'm gonna go ahead and pause it here. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next episode when we reveal to the dwarf that his vault's not that bad.